So in this section, we want to put everything together. So here's the steps. First, you need to put the polynomial in standard form. Then you need to look for greatest common factor. We've done that in every problem we've worked in 10.1 through 10.3, but where we talked about it first was in 10.1. Then we need to ask ourselves, is, is it a binomial? Does it have two terms? If it, the answer is yes, and it has subtraction, then we need to look for a difference We're subtracting squares. We talked about that in 10.3. If, if it has two terms but it's addition, we can't do anything with it, remember. If it's not a binomial, then we need to ask ourselves, is it a trinomial? Three terms. Remember for this, we multiply AC then we look for two numbers that multiply to get that new number and add to get B. We write the fractions, remember with A on top, we reduce, and then we can write our factors. Again, we talked about that um, in 10.2. And then we ask ourselves if it's not a binomial or a trinomial, does it have four terms? And this is where we factored by grouping. We broke it up into two groups of two. And we talked about that at the end of 10.1. And then the last thing we ask ourselves is, is everything factored completely? Look inside the parentheses to see if anything else can be pulled out or factored down further. So let's look at this. Remember, the first thing we do is say, is it in standard form? And it is. It has the x squared first, and then the x, and then the number. So next thing we need to ask ourselves is, is there a GCF? And there is. Each one of these numbers can be divided by 2. So we need to put a 2 out in front. And then that would be taking the 2 out from there, dividing it by 2. Taking the 2 out from the middle term, dividing it by 2. And then dividing the last term by 2. And then we ask ourselves, is it a binomial? Well, no, it's got three pieces. That makes it a trinomial. So we take our new A and our C, 1 times negative 20, and we get negative 20. So we're trying to multiply to get a negative 20 and add to get a 1. So we could have 1 and 20, 2 and 10, 4 and 5. If we want to add to get a positive number, the bigger number is positive, smaller number is negative. That gives us a negative 4 and a 5. We put our a over top, so we have 1 over negative 4 and 1 over 5. There's an x, so they both have an x on top. We'll read that straight down. So we get 1x, or x, minus 4, and 1x, or x, plus 5. This 2 that's out in front stays out in front. And there's our answer. Okay, so again, we need to ask ourselves, is this written in standard form? Well, it's not, because the biggest exponent is not first. So we'd want to write the negative 18x to the fourth first, and then the plus 12x to the third, and then finally the 16x squared. We want our exponents to get smaller from left to right. So now we ask ourselves, is there a greatest common factor? And there is. Uh, 2 goes into all three of those numbers. And even more than that, we don't like this negative out in front, so we're going to do a negative 2. And they all have x's. This one has 4 x's, this one has 3, this one has 2. So they all share 2 x's. So we'll put our parentheses there. So now we're taking negative 18 divided by negative 2, which is 9. x to the 4th divided by x squared is x squared. 12 divided by negative 2 is a negative 6. x to the 3rd divided by x squared is x. And 16 divided by negative 2 is a negative 8. x squared divided by x squared is 1. So we don't have any uh, x's in that last part. 
So now we're looking at this part inside here. There's no more GCF there, that's good. It has three terms, so it's a trinomial again. So we take A times C, we get negative 72. So remember we're trying to get multiply to get a negative 72 and add to get a negative 6. So we can look at negative 72, 1 and 72. 2, 72 divided by 2 gives us 36, 72 divided by 3 is 24, 72 divided by 4 is 18, 5 won't work, 72 divided by 6 is 12, 72 divided by 7 does not work, 72 divided by 8 is 9. Now we're trying to multiply to get a negative 72 and add to get a negative 72, so we want our bigger number to be negative. And here's where we get our negative 6. So we're going to use 6 and negative 12. Well, our a is 9, so we'll put 9 on top over 6, and then 9 on top over negative 12. So here I can divide by 3, which gives me 3 over 2. And here I can divide by 3, which gives me 3 over negative 4. This had an x squared, so these both have x's on top. So now we can write our answer, reading straight down. We have 3x plus 2, 3x minus 4, and that negative 2x to the second that was out in front needs to stay out in front. And that's our answer. So let's look at this. Um, it's in standard form. The a squared is first. It's the biggest exponent. So we need to see, is there a common factor between negative 48 and 27? Well, first of all, we don't want that negative in front, so we're going to do something with the negative. And both of these numbers can be divided by 3. So there'll be a 3 there. And they both have b's, so we'll have a b here. So negative 48 divided by a negative 3 is a positive 16. The a squared is still there, but the b has been divided out. 27 divided by negative 3 is a negative 9, and the b is out in front. So now we're looking at what's inside here. This is a binomial. So remember for a binomial, we're trying to see, do we have something squared minus something else squared? So 16, we have 4 times 4. a squared, we have a times a. 9, we have 3 times 3. So we can write our two sets of parentheses. We put 4a at the beginning of both, 3 at the end of both, 1 plus, 1 minus, and then this minus 3b that was out in front, just needs to stay out in front. So here we look at, this has four terms. There is not a common factor for all four, so we're going to group them. So in the first two, it has an x squared. That will use x minus 2. In the last two, it has a 5, which leaves me with x minus 2. Now these both have an x minus 2, so I write them once. And I have an x squared plus 5 left, so I have x squared plus 5. Now we need to look at this part because there is an x squared still there, but it has two terms with a plus sign in the middle, so we know we can't go any further and this is just our answer.